What's happening? I'm Chime Time, and welcome back to another episode of the Chime Time Restaurant Review. So today I decided to come to Chapel Hill because there's a restaurant out here that has so many mixed reviews. Literally, it's like half people say that they're good, and half people say that they're trash. There's even people in the comment section online that are strongly urging people not to come to this restaurant due to the price, food, and quality of service. So I said, why not come down here and just see what they're talking about? Today's take a review comes from... Yeah, Mama Dip. Welcome to the show. Told me Mama Dips is famous for her fried chicken, so that's what I got. Three piece chicken with the two sides. Three pieces of chicken, white meat or dark meat, two sides, come out to $17.95. I hope this is good, because this is definitely not enough food. Mm -mm. I'm a little disappointed. I'm disappointed because for damn near $18, I got two thighs and what appears to be a drumette that was fried to perfection. Don't get me wrong, but it's just a hundred percent tasteless. Like whoever fixed this literally just fried this chicken, then put no salt, no pepper, no none of that. There's no type of love in this chicken right here. Coleslaw is not sweet. It's blandly, it's a nasty aftertaste. And the turnip greens are just, they're just not good. This isn't comfort food. This is not soul food. This is just 100% garbage food. And the portion size of this food is literally nothing to brag about. I mean, for $18, I should have a full tray. You gave me slim pickings. Three-piece dark tray gets a five. This is going to be a long review. Next on the list, we have the smothered pork chops. Most definitely smothered, looks sexy, let's get it. Two smothered pork chops, two sides, and a bread biscuit or roll. Cost me $19.95. And I'm praying to God this is good. It'd be good for daddy, okay? Oh boy. Pork chops was cooked nice and juicy and very tender, so there's no problem with that. But we ran into the same freaking problem we ran into on the first trip. The cooks here are just simply just frying this food, bruh. They're not putting no ingredients in this right here. And honestly, that would have been okay. That would have been okay if the gravy was good. Gravy could have masked the taste of the pork chops. <laughs> Wrong. The gravy was just as tasteless as the pork chop. I'm completely amazed this restaurant is getting away with charging these outrageous prices, but giving away subpar food. It amazes me because the restaurant has a tremendous amount of potential. All they have to do is just season the food and they just refuse to do it. Shit. Some of the pork chops gotta give it a six. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh boy, oh this is crazy. So for $18, I'm gonna show how much potato salad I got. For 18 freaking dollars, I got a spoon full of potato salad. I'm gonna try it either way. Eh. The potato salad was okay. I think they relied a little bit on the rest to give it overall flavor. It needs salt and pepper, man. It just needs more freaking flavor. I mean, it's really simple. Salt, pepper, salt, pepper. Say it with me, salt, pepper. Potato salad. I give it a six. Gotta try the cornbread. It is one of my favorites. I I'm praying to God this tastes good, man. Okay. Cornbread was definitely nice in size, but no flavor. And again, it's just tasteless. Tremendous amount of potential, man, but they just throwing it out the window. You can actually smell this cornbread and tell that they use all the many ingredients to cook the cornbread, but they missed out on the key ingredients. They may have added butter to this, but that's about it. Cornbread, I give it to six. Last but not least, we got the fried fisherman's plate. Eh, it looks okay. Two pieces of catfish, two sides, bread or roll of cornbread for $16.95. My experience so far hasn't been so pleasant, so I really hope this right here kinda makes me happy again. Man, yeah, all hope is lost, man. This is just fucking ridiculous. When you think of catfish, you think of nice, crispy, consistent texture and just a flat out delicious fried piece of fish, man. This was none of that. So it definitely was crunchy, a little bit. Does it have flavor? You already didn't answer that. No, this is once again missing just the simple ingredients, which is salt and pepper, man. It's very disturbing. It ain't right. I'm very upset and uh, yeah, this is just crazy. Fried fish, I gotta give it a five. Okay, all right, see what this is right here. Y'all, I'm, I'm, okay, now, now, now I'm pissed off. Man. Fries aren't even done. The fries are still frozen. I've never been so upset in my life over a restaurant's food. This is the first restaurant that has really made me upset. I cannot believe you guys are serving your customers this bullshit. Fries gets a zero. I ain't trying nothing else.
I love, love, love the inside of this restaurant. I love the hardwood floors. I love the culture. I love the plaques. I love it all. This restaurant is going to remind you of your granite house. Like, it really stands out that much. Love the scenery outside. The tables look like they're six feet apart. They got the plastic chairs, just like at grandma's house. Everything is definitely organized and set up beautifully. Before you walk in the door, they got a hand sanitizer station right there before you walk in. Let you know you need to wash them damn hands, man. This restaurant, without a shadow of a doubt, is completely overpriced. I paid $60.96 today for a spoonful of potato salad, frozen ass fries, some, some, some tasteless freaking pork chops, and some tasteless fried chicken. That is just horrible. Most customers don't mind paying the money. However, if you're gonna just not care about the food that you're serving, don't charge that much, man. I'm a huge advocate with my food coming out under 20 minutes. This food came out a little over nine minutes. Now after tasting the food, I see why it came out in a little bit over nine minutes. The food wasn't cooked. It simply didn't have no love, no flavor, no taste, none of that. Slow the fuck down and make sure the food is right before serving it to the customers, all right? As I was reading through the reviews, I did see a lot of people saying the customer service was horrible. Although I didn't have a horrible experience with the customer service, there was a one lady that I particularly didn't like a tone. She had this really irritating, demanding tone. Not only that, she had eyes on me throughout the whole duration of my time inside the restaurant. And listen, I'm a vlogger. People stare at me all the time. People take videos of me all the time. People take pictures of me all the time. This was different. I was on the phone for about 20 minutes. She literally stared at my face the whole freaking time. I got up and walked to the side. She stared at me the whole freaking time. Stood in front of the dessert, because I want to look at the dessert. She stared at me the whole freaking time. I'm not going to say her name on video, but ma'am, if you're watching this video, I need you to take that same energy and the miles you had on me the whole time. Maybe y'all should hold hands and walk to the back. Use that same energy that you had on me. Put that energy on your workers, man. Because obviously some of them don't know what the hell they doing. So yeah, basically mind the business at page, man. Overall, the restaurant has a 100 point sanitation score. That is freaking marvelous. Kudos to y'all. Now the question lies when I come back to this restaurant. I'm gonna keep it a band with you. I'm gonna keep it 100. I don't know, Shot. This restaurant has so much potential, but it's obvious that some of the people that's working there are just lazy as hell. So for that reason, I, I, I simply don't know. And although I don't know if I'll come back to this restaurant, I encourage everyone who's watching this video to go support this black business in Durham, North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes another Chantel Restaurant Review. For more vlogs, more content, Hit your boy up on YouTube, all right? And of course, if you want to submit a restaurant for me to review, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. That's all my fans. I love you guys so much. Thanks for the support. Be blessed. And I'm out of here. Peace.